Okay, I want to do a little demonstration of two violins that I finished this week for customers. Um, these are violins that I re-graduated um, and they turned out excellent. This one is from California. This came from Robert, who's an existing customer. Um, this is a, a nice old German violin from the 20s uh, that he just did not like the tone of and I agree when I got it it was very um, pinched sounding very bright metallic so I did this one turned out excellent it's a killer killer fiddle Robert you're gonna love this fiddle this one has um, Parastro tonica strings in medium low action per his request pleased. Thank you for letting me work on that one. That was awesome. This one is from Wayne in Virginia. And Wayne, your fiddle is now a good sounding fiddle. This is a Chinese fiddle that Wayne sent me. And it, although it's a nice fiddle, uh, it's pretty. It did not sound uh, very good at all. Very thin and bright. Let's see. So, I, I like the tone of this one as well. It's, it's got a lot of power. Now it has a lot of depth. It's a rich tone. I think you will like this. core medium tension strings and it's ready to win a contest with so here you go uh, again I do offer uh, this service uh, for certain fiddles I usually like to see a picture of it what I don't want to get is someone who has a good sounding fiddle and then they are looking for some little small adjustment somewhere I, I would rather take a violin that's basically a dog tonally and make it uh, make it hunt again. Uh, a lot of the old trade fiddles and whatnot simply just don't sound good. They're thin, bright, and stiff. And my process will improve that vastly. So here we go. This is Wayne from Virginia's fiddle. And Robert from California, I hope that you guys love these fiddles. Um, I will probably ship them out um, probably Monday. I don't want them to sit in a warehouse all weekend. So thank you.